Welcome back everyone to Heart Renderings. Today's prompt is a single bed. That's all that remained in the room. It was the last vestige of his life. He loved that bed. It was his friend, warm, cuddly, home. He, Jason, was six years old at the time and was being treated for a rare autoimmune disease. He hadn't been himself for some time, less playful. His sweet smile was all but gone from that lovely round face of his. We, his parents, had taken him everywhere in the Western medical world to no avail, and he was getting worse by the week. Our hearts were breaking. After this long time, it seemed amazing that we had anything left of our hearts at all. One day, about a month into this trial, there was a knock on the door. We lived in a typical middle-class neighborhood in Florida, fun-colored house, one story, built in the 50s, sweet little front yard with larger yards in the back that went back to an alley. Our house had lots of palm trees with tiny fairy lights, which were Jason's idea to make the fairies happy. I opened our door to a woman dressed in very worn clothes. She looked like she was in her 70s, long gray hair and a ponytail and neatly kept. She wore pale blue, like the sky was her friend. She knew intimately. It clothed her in a long skirt and matching flowing v-neck blouse. She wore a white pashmina around her shoulders like a cumulus cloud. I felt if I hugged her, she would be light, like air. She had a glow about her that could only come from inside her, as if it permeated everything. I was puzzled, and yet happy to see her without knowing why. She said her name was Esmeralda, and she came from a faraway place. Esmeralda told me she was here for Jason's bed. I was now puzzled myself, as we weren't getting rid of his bed. He was still in it. She told me it was time he got out of the bed and seemed to know all about his illness. I said we'd love for him to be out of his bed and we didn't know how to make him well. Esmeralda entered our house and walked straight back to his room like a woman on a mission. I followed as if I was in a dream. She went in to talk to Jason and he appeared to recognize her from some other time, out of this time. I was awestruck. She ran her hands over him, whistled a chanting tune over and over, and with each pass along his body, his color got better and better. Finally, something left his body, and she put it in a jar. It was dark and amorphous. Her work was finished. Jason looked like a new, fresh, alive, smiling boy. He got up from the bed and hugged Esmeralda, and as he did this act of gratitude, he looked like he became part of the sky she wore. She stepped back, and he ran to me. He was healed. It was miraculous. I wanted to thank Esmeralda in some way, and all she wanted was the bed. She said there was something in the wood that had been trapped for lifetimes as punishment and she needed to take care of it. I had no idea what that was about and as soon as I gave my delirious consent, the bed vanished and a small ball appeared on the floor, shiny, pulsating and shaking. Esmeralda took it in her fingers, put it in a silver box that was decorated very elaborately with numbers and leaves. She then thanked us as she had been looking for many years for this object. She abruptly turned, hurried to the door, and as she rushed out, she started to vaporize right before our eyes. My senses came back fully then, and I realized my son was well, healed miraculously, and he looked at me with a knowing so old and ancient, as if he knew exactly what went on there. I never questioned it. I just lit a candle, 
to light Esmeralda's way home. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe and tell your friends.